So we have now tools to calculate both the pressure spectrum and the velocity spectrum. And this is the time to introduce an extremely important quantity in acoustics that is called the acoustical impedance. The acoustical impedance in a given direction is the ratio of the pressure spectrum to the velocity spectrum in that direction. So, for instance, in the x direction, the x impedance is the pressure divided by the velocity component in the x direction. Remember that we are talking about spectra and that the concept doesn't make any sense in the time domain. You cannot take, or at least it doesn't mean anything, to take the ratio of the pressure to velocity in the time domain, but it has a lot of sense, and we are going to explore some of them, it has a lot of sense in the frequency domain. Specifically, close to a surface, uh, close to a, a, a wall, a boundary, for instance, we are very much interested in understanding what the normal impedance to the wall means. If you have a perfectly rigid wall, on a perfectly rigid wall, the particles are not able to get inside the wall, and so the normal velocity is necessarily equal to zero. So, on a rigid wall, the pressure spectrum divided by the normal velocity is going to be infinite. Alternatively, if you have a perfectly soft surface, totally unable to resist to the pressure, the pressure is going to be zero and the velocity is going to be, well, what it is. And so the impedance on such a perfectly flexible surface is pressure over velocity, and because pressure is zero, it's going to be zero. So you see that impedance is ranging across many orders of magnitude from zero to uh, infinity. Um, that already gives you a hint of something that we will discover later, is that the impedance at a wall determines the absorption capability of that wall.